Big unveiling, are you ready? Yep, let's do it. When we got married last year, our wedding registry was mostly things we could use for the bus. We are feeling super grateful for all the amazing wedding gifts that we've received from everybody to go in our bus. One of the gifts we received from John, Tammy, Sadie and Ellie was a little tub they had custom printed for us. Well, we have some plans, some thoughts for what we're going to do with this, so... Da, 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 wait and see! And we're finally ready to transform it to be part of our bus bathroom. So we are using this little tub as our sink in our bathroom and we are going to paint the inside of it and give it like a rubberized coat. It also will seal it up and so to make sure that it's waterproof. And we're going to do it in our bathtub in a big galvanized tub um, but we wanted to start with the little one and see how it goes. Are you going to help me pizzicato? Are you going to help me pizzicato? <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> All right, she looks well taped up, ready to go. And we need to stand the inside of the tub. Clean it and it's ready, prepped for the etching spray. Shake it for one minute. Okay, that's probably good. Don't you think? It's 45 seconds. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I've got a timer here. Keep going, keep going. All right, coat number two. Don't forget to cover your mouth. Put on three coats of the etching primer. To add a rubberized coating, we first use leak seal. Adding one coat, letting it dry, and then adding another coat. With the coat of Flex Seal in the sink, we had to wait for it to dry. We wanted to use a galvanized tub, like a feeding trough, as our bathtub. It, it just seems like a really affordable option for us and we could find one that was small enough to fit in our tiny bathroom. To make it feel nicer on the skin, we decided to paint the inside of it with a rubberized coat, but it's a little bit of a process. So you first have to clean out your tub. Then use a really fine grit sandpaper to sand it down. You want to jump inside, don't you, huh? What do you think about this cleaning job? It's totally fine. I'll take this job over quite a few of the ones we've done any day. And then apply a Rust-Oleum etching primer. You want to do about a couple of layers of that. We ran out of the etching primer. We managed to get one coat, a few spots that still didn't get covered by the etching primer, so we're gonna have to go get another can because you wanna do like two to three coats. But I'm gonna go back to our little sink, our mini tub that we're using for our bathroom sink. We weren't thrilled with how it came out. We used the spray paint um, of Flex Seal to paint the white um, 
rubberized coat inside of it and we weren't happy with how it came out. It had a lot of like bubbling, a lot of bubbles in it. So we decided we're going to try the paint this time and paint it on and see if we can get rid of the bubbles. And I'd rather test it out anyway on the small one before we try in a big bathtub. So I'm going to start by just sanding down that little tub again so that this has something to seal and grab onto. Um, pretty good. It's really thick. Yeah. Um, it's hard to... Oh, it's it, much better. Because this is textured, it's hard to just go back and forth to get in all the cracks, but I don't think it's going to leave the bubbles. Okay. Some of them are still, like, reappearing. I feel like I've been holding my baby while I've been <laughs> painting. But yeah, I think this is going to look better. There's so much paint on here now, I can't quite remember where the tape was. Don ran to the hardware store and we were ready to hit the tub with another layer of etching spray. We gave it a last sanding down when we were ready to apply the first coat of Flex Seal. No, not on this table, sweetie. Come on. This is what we need a rubberized cat. <laughs> While I got the first coat of Flex Seal onto the tub, Don pulled out our RV windows to give them a cleaning. At this point in the bus build, this is what quality time looks like. So we try to make the most of these moments. I like this kind of project. Yeah. The windows were cleaning up nicely, and it looks like they're in even better shape than we expected. going on here. <laughs> it's just a weekend in the Midwest. First coat of the rubberized Flex Seal is on. The hardest thing is keeping the bugs out of it. So while it needs to dry, I think we're going to put it inside the bus because there's less chance of getting bugs inside of it in the bus. I definitely like painting it on better than the spray paint though. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Uh, I've been putting it off, but it's time to tackle this thing. There's a lot of unnecessary power to speakers, TVs, and lighting that we've pulled out of the bus and we no longer need it. 
Now, there was even some child safety alarms for when they use this for a school bus. And I'd rather just not have any wires that we don't need connected up here in the fuse area, just so not only will I know what I'm working with, but so I won't have any hot wires just dangling in the bus. We've got uh, a little schematic drawing on the side. It's not quite clear. I'm gonna have to look through the manual. Dad's gonna help me look through and figure out what we can pull out. This is one of those projects that's just a little overwhelming. Um, hopefully, if we do it one strand at a time, it'll start to make sense. Okay, this is the radio, which you have this kind of a radio nope, in there? Yeah. Okay, I'm not worried about that. It says sound and video. This must be related to sound and video then, right? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, can... Remove it and disconnect all the wires possibly? Yeah. This thing, you know, you might be able to use that uh, PC source somehow in some wires. So yeah, hold on. I saw this one. Too. Oh, don't push it. The red button. <laughs> <laughs> it says right in the end. Don't push the red button. PP is an optional lavatory buzzer. There we go. And LL is a basic alarm buzzer. They're cut, so you think it's safe to track them through? That's a bus bar, they call that. Bus icon. bar. Yeah. And that's going to eat somebody. Not really sure, but. Now on the car, is it, is, a, is it a car bar? Uh, it could be, yes. <laughs> I hadn't thought about that, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the air cables while we're here too. While we were pulling the unused electrical lines, we went ahead and removed the air lines to the luggage bay doors. We planned to replace these with electric locks. We went ahead and capped the air line to the compressor up front and hope that's not going to mess up anything on our air system. While Don and Zad are working inside of the bus, I'm going to paint the bathtub. I definitely recommend using the paint over the spray paint. It is super easy to paint on. It feels really good. I think it's going to make a much more comfortable bath experience or shower experience than just leaving the tub with the steel. All right, second coat is done. I did manage to bump my head into the top. I got a little bit in my hair <laughs> and on my shoulder. To let it dry, the easiest thing we found to keep bugs out of it is to go and put it in the luggage bay. I don't know why they were attracted to the smell of it. It's got a quite a strong smell. It's kind of weird. It kind of makes me think of bubble gum. So let me see if I can find someone to help me carry this into the bus. Might be tricky because the boys right now are getting bus grease all over them and they are not going to ruin my nice new white bathtub. All right, I'm not even going to bother trying to get those dirty hand boys to help me with this. They are not messing up my tub. So uh, we have the saying in South Africa, a boer maka plan, which Literally translated means a farmer makes a plan, but I guess the South African saying is we figure it out. So that's kind of what this whole bus build is about. So I'm going to figure it out, get that bathtub into the bus myself. My husband's a little too chivalrous and uh, had to come and help me out. But I think I could have done it by myself, even though it was awkward. <laughs> Having fun? Oh boy. Uh, absolute chaos, but we're deciphering it one wire at a time. Well, it's a good thing at least you have that manual. <laughs> Stud 44. I think I'm on it. We need to keep those. That's right. It's that step light lamp. Right? Yeah, yep. step lamp. Okay, good. 77 on our spares. Really? Yeah. All right, so I am going to put the final coat on our bathroom sink. I'm going to put a clear enamel on as the last coat to seal it and make sure it doesn't chip. It says to do a few 
light coats with a few minutes drying time between each. I did three light coats and I'm gonna let it dry now. It says uh, 15 to 30 minutes and then we'll take a look. Mel is hard at work over here getting the tub a clear coat on. I think this is the first layer. She's got a pretty good technique it looks like. You give it, can you hear me? Yeah, barely. <laughs> give it a couple minutes to dry and then I'll do a second coat. You just need a couple minutes, that's it? Yeah. Okay. It's a good booty shot. bit nervous that it's because it's so thick the flex seal and where we placed it is different. Alright, let's see. It's a little messy that we had to cut it off. Now, having done it and worked with the Flex Seal, I would have done it on this underneath side so that the white went all the way around. I just thought this dark sort of room was kind of cool looking. The bathroom's gonna have a little more of a rustic look, whereas like our living room kitchen's a little more modern looking in theme. So I don't know if it's terrible that it's slightly messy, if it just kind of will go with the theme. Final coat of the bathtub is done. So now we're gonna leave it to dry and then we're gonna take it inside because as the day goes on, it just gets humid. I'm already sweating and it's like 9 a.m. or something, so. It's already 99% humidity. It's 99% humidity. Yeah, you're supposed to, it's supposed to be below like 65% humidity when you spray paint this clear enamel on. But if we were to wait for that, we'd have to wait until fall, like three or four months. <laughs> so we just did it in the morning. I'm gonna give it a little time to air out outside and then we're gonna take it down to the basement because it's nice and cool down there. The big unveiling, are you ready? Yep, let's do it. Okay. We're really pleased with how our tub turned out. Adding that white rubberized coating not only makes it look nice and clean, but it also is pleasant on the skin for bathing and showering. It's really nice to have two more pieces of our bus bathroom complete. Managing this bus build means we're always working on multiple projects at the same time. Some projects take a couple days, while some take weeks to complete. It is thrilling to be working on our second woodworking project for the bus, but we'll share that with you next time. <laughs>